Welcome to another episode of Legit or Bullshit. I don't know the questions that are going to be asked to me, but let's figure out if these things in this world are legit or truly just bullshit. Owning a website. Owning a website. Well, I bought my son his domain name the day he was born as a gift to him. I think owning your URL is totally legit. How important is it in the real world? A lot of it depends on what you're going to do in business and whether or not you ever need a website. But certainly it's better you own it than someone else does. So having your own website, totally legit. Facebook. Facebook. Hmm. I think bullshit these days. I, I find myself not connecting to any of my friends on there because the algorithm doesn't let me. It doesn't even let me connect with the second tier friends because the algorithm doesn't let me. I have 10,000 plus fans on my Facebook page. That's people that have said they want to hear from me. Can't reach them. So I think it's dying. Totally bu bullshit. Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. I, I know Gary Vee's not going to like me saying this, but I think bullshit. I think at the end of the day, if you're into Pokemon, then go ahead and collect those cards. But if you're doing it just for money, you're going to get caught out. It's a bit like art. I think you're going to try and play the game. So I would say bullshit unless you're legitimately a Pokemon fan and then, you know, it's totally legit for you to collect them and have fun. Sleep. Sleep. Oh, I love sleep so much. Sleep is so underrated. It's totally legit. It's, it's a scientific fact that we need as adults between seven and eight hours sleep a day to function. If you don't get it, you become more grumpy, you eat badly, you exercise less. You just generally don't operate better. So I think sleep is totally legit. There are some people like Connor behind the camera right now that legitimately don't need as much sleep. So we're all different, I guess. But ultimately, for me, sleep, totally legit. Love it. It's a superpower. Coffee. Coffee, love coffee. Uh, I switched coffee, regular coffee, to decaf. And for me, <clears throat> it totally works. And it took me about two weeks to completely no longer want caffeine but still have that enjoyment of holding a coffee and sipping it or hanging out in a coffee shop and having a nice coffee are totally legit but the actual caffeine in coffee total bullshit you don't need it you don't need these things to pick you up it's all up here elon musk elon musk i think elon musk is both legit and bullshit i think he has a lot of things that he says that are taken out of context that are bullshit so for example, recently he said on a clubhouse room I was in that you don't, you know, if you want praise running a business, then you shouldn't run a business. I don't agree. I think he's had a lot of praise. He's had a lot of encouragement. People have bought equity in his businesses. They've invested in his businesses. They bought his cars. They've tweeted him. They've shared. That's a lot of reinforcement, positive reinforcement that you do need. So when he says things like that, I want to call bullshit. But legitimate entrepreneur, of course. Who am I to say Elon Musk is not totally legit? And as an entrepreneur, I think he is both amazing, but also I think he intimidates people, thinking that they can't be Elon Musk and they shouldn't be entrepreneurs. Elon Musk can't be Elon Musk, so we can all be entrepreneurs. So in that regard, he is bullshit. He's just a human being. You'll probably notice he looks tired and frayed these days. So at the end of the day, I think he's a legitimate entrepreneur, but we've got to be careful that the bullshit of entrepreneurship doesn't filter through to make you think that's the only way to be an entrepreneur is to sleep in your factory like Elon Musk. That's not the only way. Exercise. Exercise. Well, I think exercise is totally legit. I would only say that it's bullshit that you have to exercise the way other people tell you. So personally, I go for a walk every day. I, I get my exercise. And I get, you know, to, to do what I want to do, which is listen to podcasts and enjoy my day. You don't necessarily have to hit the treadmill or go and lift weights, although personally I do that as well. But I think that those things are not the only way to get fit. And I think eating better is totally underrated when it comes to getting fit and healthy. Just what you put in your body can also legitimately help you be healthier, not just exercise. In fact, exercise itself, I think is more about your mental requirement than it is your physical requirement. But ultimately, exercise, of course, legit. Five guys. Five guys. Uh, I would say it's, it's not legitimate or bullshit. It's just tasty, bad food. And I think you can legitimately have it once a week as a treat, but I wouldn't have it every day. And uh, I'm not gonna call it bullshit, but I think the animals that it comes from do create quite a lot of bullshit. Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat, totally legit, missing him. And I only really learned about him a year ago when I started my own YouTube channel. What an inspiration. 
His ability to create a story from frankly nothing is just incredible and I'm obsessed and he isn't releasing enough videos these days so that's bullshit but I do think he's he's the legit real deal genuine person he is what you see on camera and an inspiration to me as someone trying to break through on social media so totally legit LinkedIn LinkedIn bullshit I've got 16,000 contacts on LinkedIn I'm quite invested in it but I do think um, it's going the same way as all the other social media channels that aren't personalized and aren't true. I like voice social medias these days, so like Twitter Spaces and Clubhouse. These are legit because it's me talking. I can't fake it, I can't hire someone to go and create good posts for me or create interesting vlogs for me. It has to be me on these voice activated things so I get to see people for real and you can't really do that on LinkedIn, it really is a glamorized CV and quite often the posts that I see from people on there are just, you know, someone else has done it for them, it's not them. So I feel like it's lost it. Um, I still use it from a, like, keep my contacts somewhere point of view, but as a business tool, it's losing it and I'm gonna call long term it's bullshit. The England football team. England football team, well, I grew up in England but spent a lot of my time in Asia. So I think the England football team, and my dog agrees, is legit. I mean, I always loved being a fan of the place that I was born, but I'm not a big footballer, so I can't tell you whether the players themselves are legit, but they are role models, that's legit, so I hope they act accordingly and realise that a lot of young people look up to them, including my dog, and so they should be legit, even if sometimes they do a lot of bullshit. Dogs. Dogs, oh my God, it's easy, so, 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 so legit. Dogs are authentic, they live in the now, they're real, I tell you, we can learn a lot from dogs. You only need two meals a day. Dogs, go for a walk and you'll be happy. You know, shit outside of your home. You know, basically dogs are totally, and they now agreeing along too, totally, totally, totally legit. If you don't have a dog in your life, you're missing out on some serious fun. Writing things down. Writing things down. Hmm. I think it's good to write things down, but I would also say if you write it down and you rely on that thing you've written down, you might not memorize what matters. So I always tell people, write it down so that you can memorize it. But memorization is actually much better when it comes to, for example, pitching your startup. You don't want to be reading for a bit of paper. It doesn't feel authentic. If I'm reading now, instead of talking to you as I am, I'm reading this bit of paper. You, you're not going to feel the authenticity of my answers here, right? So overrated and definitely bullshit when it comes to having to write things down. I think just say it in your own words, even if it's not perfect, at least it's genuine and that's legit. Amazon. Amazon, bullshit. Amazon to me started off as a good idea and has turned into a business killer. And I don't like the way they deliver stuff in the sense that they do too much packaging and too much crap. They waste a lot of paper and there's just not enough attention to the personalization. I think there's a real gap in the market. Think about what Apple did to packaging. You get an Apple product, it's beautiful, right? It's done professionally. Amazon, literally, it just the stuff gets chucked at my door and I open it up. I ordered dog food the other day that had paper in it to protect the, 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 the dog food. I mean, what a waste of paper. The dog food did not need protecting. So I'm sorry, Amazon. You are bullshit in my mind right now, but I hope you turn a corner and Jeff Bezos gives all his money to solving the homelessness crisis. Give every single homeless person in the world a home to live in with the money in his bank. That would be legit. Networking. Networking. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say bullshit. I think networking is a little bit overrated. I think the best way to connect with people that matter are you go out there and target them. So for example, if you're looking for a service provider, um, again, my dog is agreeing. Brando, come here. Brando, come here. I think for a lot of people, they think networking is the key to building a business a relationship with people. I have to say my view is, in fact, that if you want to, for example, get a client, target them. Go direct to them. Don't waste your time going to an event and meeting 30 people that don't have any relevance to your world. That being said, I'm going to have a caveat on this, and that's platforms like Clubhouse. Sometimes you can go on Clubhouse, share knowledge, and someone in the room pops out that you weren't expecting, you maybe didn't think to target. But to me, that's like spending 10 minutes of your life on an app having fun and connecting to people, as opposed to you know networking in a traditional sense, maybe joining a business club, for example. I think a lot of that stuff is, is, is bullshit. 
Um, but what is legit is making genuine contacts and connections with people. So, you know, if you want to get clients, just go direct. It's much better to focus your energy on one point than spread your energy against a good big, big networking concept. So focus, and therefore I'm gonna call network bullshit, generally speaking. The like button. The like button. Well, first of all, if you're liking this video, can you hit the like button? But I'm still gonna call it bullshit. Likes don't matter. And I know Instagram was meant to be removing likes from their feed, but they haven't done it because I know people like the like. But the reality of it is it doesn't matter. If you help one person with your content, that's what matters. So when putting content out there, that's how I view it. If I'm helping one person now get a little insight here and have some fun, then I'm a winner. If you never like my feed, then no big deal. I know a lot of people that actually tell me they've watched my content, but they never liked it. So the content can reach people, and likes are no reflection on whether or not it was useful. I think they should have a useful button, or a thank you button, and get rid of those like buttons. That's it for this week's episode, folks. If you found it funny, useful, interesting, or you have a question, then drop us a comment. Feel free to also share this and lighten someone else's day with the concept of is it legit or is it bullshit? And if you want us to ask any questions or you want to ask any questions about whether something is legit or bullshit, then do drop us a line and let us know what you think and what we should ask in the next episode.